What's happening, film nerds? David the Film Junkie here. We're all still coming down from the high. That was the last Jedi teaser. Man, oh man, so many questions. What's Luke mean about ending the Jedi? Where does uh, Rey stand with the whole thing and the scriptures? Why did the, the X-Wing get blown up in front of Poe and BB-8? Why is Kylo Ren's scar in the wrong place? Nah, that was making the rounds. Didn't notice because obviously you don't really see his face, but yeah. If you do like a double comparison, which people did, the scar is really supposed to go up the bridge of his nose to his forehead, and they have it slightly to the right. And I'm just, and um, yeah, I was like, how could they fuck that up so badly? That That's like not good. Well, um, Ryan Johnson went to Twitter and it kind of answered this. He didn't really answer it that well, though. But uh, somebody was asking, saying, uh, you you seen the scar for three seconds and seven. You'll see it for a whole movie at eight. I'm betting they just like, like it further right. Close enough. <laughs> Close enough, right? That looks okay. But Ryan Johnson had this to say. He said, it was my decision to slightly adjust it. And that was my justification. Justification. I honest. It honestly looked goofy running straight up the bridge of his nose. But continuity, man. Continuity. All right, Ryan. Continuity. You're basically telling, hey, JJ, where do you put the the little, you know, the the saber gash? Fucking stupid, bro. Ah, I'm. I I, I can't. That's yes. It's your justification, but I can't. Uh, a lot of people like continuity, man. And this is a big movie that needs some continuity. And you kind of just like, mm, let's just move it over. Why not? I don't know. I don't really like that. Uh, I was actually going to do a video and just kind of give my theories of it. That I was going to say like, well, maybe in the movie, um, when they like had some kind of uh, you know robot work on them, they just kind of took it, I don't know, moved skin or something like that, and his whole, like, they moved his whole face or something, shifted his skin on his face, and then it shifted over, I don't know, some kind of futuristic weird shit, maybe our, uh, C-3PO was, you know, working on him, now, why, why, why would C-3PO be working on Kylo Ren, come on, Dave, jeez, speaking of continuity, here I am fucking the whole universe up, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, I just thought maybe something with that, or maybe he used the Jedi mind trick to shift it over because it was getting in his periphery. I don't know. But Brian Johnson just said it looked goofy. Ooh. Yeah, I really can't back that up. But, I mean, it's not going to ruin the whole movie for me. It might for other people. Hopefully it doesn't. But, uh, yeah, there you have it, guys. That is uh, that is why right there. I don't know. I just, to me, it just, eh. I mean, I, I, mean, I guess if you looked at Anakin's scarring, and his, like, didn't, wasn't exactly matched. I don't know. I mean, scars, I guess, just move on, on Sith people. Maybe that's what it is. They shift. Did you ever see, like, Robin Hood Men in Tights? Remember the freaking, uh, the king guy, uh, Richard Lewis? <laughs> his mole kept on moving around throughout the... Maybe they'll just do that with Kylo Ren. Maybe Mel Brooks is actually, actually directing this one. This is Spaceballs fucking 2 we're watching here. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts about it down below in the balls area. What do you think about this? Do you care? I mean, honestly, I don't care. It's not going to ruin the movie for me. I might, the first time I'll see it, I probably won't even notice it. But then the second time, I'll be like, oh, yeah, stupid scar is not going up the, the right spot. Anyways, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts about it down below, guys. What do you think about it? Please hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the news channel. Follow me on the social media stuff right up there. And i got a Patreon, too, if you guys want to help me out with my stuff. Would appreciate it. All right, guys, talk to you later.